I'm Peter Chandler and I'm off on an adventure. Whee! Hello, lovers of small plastic knickknacks. As we are busy judging the mother of all costume contests right now, we sent Lita Chandler off on another adventure to get her out of our hair. Off down south to visit our friends at By the Same Token. Has it really been that long since we've made a video about them? By the Same Token is a British company dedicated to producing laser-cut accessories for tabletop games, including an ever-expanding number for Arkham Horror. Plus, Marvel Champions, Gloomhaven, X-Wing, even Pokemon! We used to make individual videos about their tokens, and then started grouping them together, and now we've totally been left in the dust as they have more than 500 different items. It's crazy! Well, it started with one guy named Chris, who was an architectural model maker. He started tinkering with component upgrades for his favourite games that were getting a bit old and worn, but then he thought that other people might want the same. He rented a tiny office back in 2014 that had barely enough room for a computer and a laser cutter, and off he went. Lita has visited many times to see all the prototypes for new products, and loved playing with the laser just like a Bond villain. Eight years later, they now have a huge workshop with real staff, not Oompa Loompas, and multiple lasers. There is a big board game collection upstairs for all the ranges they produce tokens for. Next to those are the PCs, where they have full-time designers working on future products, and down below is where all the engraving, cutting, and painting goes on. There are 284 bins on the wall holding tokens and 48 drawers with their most popular ranges right next to a packing area where the orders are bundled up ready for shipping. But like most workshops, there are all kinds of prototypes and long forgotten crazy ideas everywhere you turn. So what's new in the world of accessories? They have an extensive Marvel Champions range, and so new tokens for Gambit and Mojo Mania were hot off the press. With more Spider-Man characters arriving, these needed player boards, and those definitely don't disappoint. But what about the X-Men? Fear not mutants, they have you covered with this fabulously coloured design for the team. And a personalised one for Wolverine, which has claw marks in it for extra detail. They had a range of tokens ready for the launch of War of the Ring the card game, which is really handy. Speaking of rings, here are their new range of wooden accessories for Lord of the Rings the card game. As well as being eco-friendly, wood is very thematic for the world of Middle-earth, and it has a totally different feel to plastic. They have tokens and threat dials. These are solid mahogany, not some cheap MDF, so they are definitely top quality products. And they don't use any paint on the wood either, it's just the laser burning the details into it. The threat dials will also come with stands, so you can view them and advance them much easier. Moving on to another fantasy card game, they have a growing range for flesh and blood. Everything from resources to damage to usage to coins. They also have health trackers with gold or silver etching, and this blood debt tracker with detachable heart token. At this point, Lita was hungry for some gaming, so they cracked open Lost Ruins of Arnak for some competitive action. This is a great game with some really thematic jewels, arrowheads, and tablets. It's a shame the coin and compass tokens are cardboard. Well, we played with the acrylic upgrades to both of these, and they were great. It is definitely a more consistent experience when all your tokens are made of the same material. Next on the table was Dune Imperium. Eee, trouble at Landsrad! They have a full range of tokens, starting with the resources of water, solari, and spice. These spice tokens had glitter inside them, making them really exotic, as Milan should be. But you'll be able to get them in plain translucent orange if glitter isn't macho enough for you. They have the voice tokens, the Baron's masterstroke predictions, and alliance markers, as well as player sets of score markers, combat markers, and control markers in four different colours of mirrored acrylic. And they have tokens for all the expansions too. We definitely fell in love with all that mirrored acrylic, and after some discussion, we finalised our patron reward tokens for 2022 with these unique to us red mirrored damage tokens. Which means for 2023, we can have blue mirrored horror tokens. By the same token, I've been supplying our exclusive annual reward tokens for as long as we have had a Patreon. And long may it continue. 
Speaking of limited editions, they were working on the designs for the commemorative token for the Dice Saloon in Brighton's Arkham Knights event. Fancy! We took down our copy of the Scarlet Keys so their designers could get a good look at the campaign to draw some inspiration for their campaign-specific Doom tokens that will be coming out next year. Let us know in the comments below if they should use the red mirrored acrylic for the Scarlet Keys tokens. You just need the outliners from shiny red gloves. That's it. Totally iconic, right? And they haven't forgotten about Edge of the Earth tokens either. We also gave them a rundown of the games that were on our radar for next year, such as the Star Wars deck building game from Fantasy Flight Games, and Disney's Lorcana card game from Ravensburger. So we hope we convince them to add these to their design list. Because who wants tiny cubes, right? Stop the video! And just before releasing this video, they gave us a sneak peek into what is on their design list for 2023. Looking good, right? Thanks for watching this video. Check out our many other By The Same Token videos featuring location connectors, square tokens, and even coasters. Patrons, if your name is on the list and you want some of these commemorative tokens, just reply to the post we put up.